what is up guys thanks again for tuning in we have a quick tps video i'm gonna go ahead and show you here this is just how to calibrate it i mean technically you can use this video on how to replace it as well um, but essentially this is just a calibration video so here you're going to need a voltmeter uh, for this particular honda this is a honda accord it does have the star screws normally they are just flat if they've never been replaced so you have to cut a slot so you can go ahead and use a flathead to remove it uh, normally you use a dremel or a handsaw uh, but the space is limited in this accord so you have to remove the throttle body which is a pain in the butt and that does require replacement of this throttle body gasket uh, you should replace it anytime you remove the throttle body and that goes to say that the gasket for the TPS should also be replaced at the same time so you guys are probably wondering what that metal piece is that is actually a key ring but you can also use a paper clip you're gonna want to go ahead and insert it right on the inside that way you can go ahead and get your signal. So, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and hook up your voltmeter. It's a cheap voltmeter, maybe 15, 20 bucks at Walmart, probably less than 20. Uh, go ahead and set it up to the 12 volt battery setting. Connect your negative to the negative, black to the negative, Yes, I do have the battery held down with a bungee cord. Hope you guys have a good laugh about that. <laughs> and then the positive, which I have here, you're gonna go ahead and check this. So this is the reason why I did the paper clip. Oh, you can use a paper clip, but this is the reason I used the key ring. As you can see, it's circled. <laughs> so go ahead and touch it with the red terminal off of the voltmeter look at your voltmeter and that is a 0 0.4 so that is uh, about 10 points off it should be at a 0 0.5 at closed throttle and open throttle it should be at 4.5 uh, so what you're going to need to do is loosen these bolts just enough so you can twist it so you'll twist it left and right, um, and your voltmeter will reflect on that. Either the voltage will drop or the voltage will increase, and you just want to get that adjusted to 0.5 uh, at closed position and 4.5 at open position. So we'll do that now. Okay, so get your screwdriver. Again, this is a tight area, so there's not much room. I'm gonna be just holding the camera this time around. Normally I have it on the tripod. So forgive the shakiness. All right, so once you crack it loose, just enough. Crack it loose and then give it a, a shot, see if it'll turn on you. Now that it's loose okay now we should be able to turn it all right I guess not so loosen it some more if it does not turn don't force it these are plastic components and they can be very easily damaged as well as the gasket if it's too tight and you try and turn it you may damage that gasket back there so let's try that there we go so now we got movement you see it we got a little movement all right and there's not much much movement in this unit so so now that we have movement now we're gonna go ahead and retest so as you can see still at 0 0.4 so give me one moment I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod so you can see this all right 
so I got you guys set up on the tripod because you most definitely need two hands for this. So we're gonna take that reading. All right, so that's 0 0.4. So there we go, now we're getting something. Okay, so that's obviously way too high. That's 0 0.61. So when I turned it to the left, it went up, so I'm gonna slightly turn it to the right. There we go. Too much. All right. Oh, I thought I had it. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit more. And the movement is very subtle. Okay, so we have it at 0.5. As you are tightening the screws, there may be slight movement. Wait until it's all the way tightened down and then recheck. So as you can see, it dropped uh, one point uh, and then it went back up. So evenly tighten both sides. You check it. Okay, so now that you have it calibrated to 0 0.5, go ahead and open the throttle, which on this particular one, I believe the throttle, yep, is on this side with the throttle cable. So let me see if I can even get in there. I'm gonna have to move this. This is good. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'll go ahead and I'll show you show you uh, the reading here. I don't know if I caught that on camera the first time, but here we go. Let's see if you guys can see that. So we have 4.56. I was getting a 4.6, um, but like again, like I said, maybe it was. Uh, me just pressing farther than I should or maybe it's a faulty TPS but as far as I'm concerned it's correct I'm getting a 0.5 reading at closed throttle and roughly you know 4.5 and change uh, on open throttle but I will go ahead and get in the vehicle and take it for a test drive and see if this has fixed my problem but Essentially, if it's not uh, working correctly, you go ahead and make make adjustments and if you've made all your necessary adjustments and it's just not working, uh, then you may just need to replace your TPS if you have not already. Uh, but other than that, you can essentially use this video for a TPS calibration and a TPS uh, replacement. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like comment and subscribe and thanks again for checking in with my channel built j have a great day guys and keep on doing your thing